how to solve in the AutoCAD I explain how. I draw the first this tapper shape first, then second I draw these shapes. Okay, go to AutoCAD. Finally, you got like this. I open new tab. Here you got change it as southwest isometric view. Then path one take line command. It is length is 40 mm. Enter. Then this is 20 mm. Enter again 40. Enter and close it. Now you have to do the fillet. It is fillet shape. Sir. Select radius. Fillet radius is 10. Enter. Select the first line and the second line. Again enter. First line and the second line. Again enter. Now you have to join with all line and fillet. So type here join in the command bar. Join. Select all the lines. Again enter. Next again take the same line. Same direction. 30 enter. And this is 20 enter. Then this also. 20 enter. This also you have to do the fill letter. Fillet, fillet radius is 10. Enter. Select the first line and the second line. Again, enter. Do like this. Okay. Next day, use join command. The second feature say you got to select and select the all the lines. Press enter. Okay. Next, uh, draw one circle. See here, here diameter of 7.5 more circle is there. Now, we have to draw this circle. Go to top view, take line command. From here to draw one line. Select a diameter of circle. The midpoint, it is the midpoint give 7.5 enter okay this reference line no need you have delete next again go to southwest isometric view here you draw one vertical line and draw one horizontal line next very important go to use set with this 40 degree we need to rotate so, you have set the UCS coordinate system. Select this one. The first point, X direction, it is market, and this Y direction. Press enter. Next, in the polar system, you mark it 40 by degree and enable the polar tracking. Dynamic input enable, then only you mark the angle. Take line command from this corner. See here, you mark it 40 by degree angle. We need a draw one line. Next, I delete the reference line. Go to rotate command. Select this one, this under this uh, circle as well, same you got select, press enter, keep the base point, you have to rotate 40 by degree like this, you can enter, this reference line also you have to delete. Then, next, uh, go to loft command, select the first one. Select the second object, press enter. Next, go to settings. Smooth width, it's okay. Give okay. Next, uh, 
so here this lab to our this shape only you got a student change it wire frame next feature is extrude command first one is locked next extrude select the circle enter up to this level then you have to subtract from this because it is through hole okay go to solid subtract select the bigger object enter select this enter now we are drawn two shapes okay. next uh, I draw these shapes. Okay. Right. Go to top view. Change its southwest isometric view. Okay. Take line command. From here, you have to draw ortho on. This length is as per question 50 mm. 550 enter and downwards 20 enter then this is 5 enter thickness is 5 enter again 15 enter it is uh, 45 enter then that's done See here it is a single entity make it all the line you have join with uh, join command use join okay. enter okay. this week any feature you want to extrude or any other left command join with the all the lines then go to extrude Select the object, enter this direction. As per question, 30 mm extruded. You have to extrude at 30 mm. Next, in the top side, two holes there. Here, two holes there. This side, this front view, this side, two holes there. This diameter of by mm. Go to AutoCAD, change it, wireframe, change it, top view. Here you have to draw the circle, diameter of circle. From this corner you have to draw first, diameter is 5. And it is moving down side, by mm. Go to move command. Select enter from the downside 5 enter again move same circle from the to this direction 5 enter. Okay, yes, we need to two holes here, so we got mirror it up. Go to mirror, select the circle, enter, select the midpoint, and give errors. Now, go to isometric view. Now, it is extrude at downside. Go to extrude. Select the both the circle. Enter. Somewhere, a random length you have to extrude at. Because it is subtracted from this bigger one. Go to subtract. Select the object. Enter. Select the two cylinders. Press enter. Okay. Now, use move command. Select this object. Enter. Keep in the center midpoint. Midpoint of this object. And the midpoint of this object. Move it in. I change it conceptual. Yes. Select this object. Enter.
Now we change it. Okay. Use move command. Select this object. Enter. Keep this here. Okay. Now both are separately. You got use union command. Make it one. Go to solid union. Select this one and this one. And now this side. Uh, one fillet and two circle is there. The two circle and this edge you can make it five mm fillet. Okay. Change it wireframe here. Go to fillet command. Select fillet. Fillet radius is you give five. Enter, select this edge, enter. Okay. I do it again. Select fillet, fillet radius, radius is 5, enter, select the edge, enter, enter. Again, enter, select this edge, 5, enter, again, enter. Now, change it left to be, otherwise, uh, front view, okay. Here, draw two circles now. Select diameter of circle, move the cursor, it is, uh, so in the center, y radius uh, diameter center and the move center in this center and copy select this another one is this center move it in. Okay. Next uh, change it southwest asymmetric view. It is extruded. Two circles have to extruded. First one and the second one enter some random length because it is subtracted. Go to solid, subtract, select the bigger one, enter, select the two cylinders, enter. It is subtracted. Finally, go to I change the color when I draw this shape set as for drawing you draw like this okay thank you